Hello and thank you for choosing to watch this video. You've made a great decision by choosing to watch this video. The topics that I'm going to cover in this presentation are topics that have helped me graduate from university with a bachelor's in computer science. I was a kid that used to live in Africa, Lagos, Nigeria, and I manifested myself all the way to Canada and now the United States. So all the things I'm going to teach you are things that have changed my life and will definitely change yours. So you've made a great decision by choosing to watch this video. I've also started my own business, which is called Base Digital Marketing. And I've been able to scale that business to five figures a month using the techniques that I've learned in this video and I'm about to teach you, right? I've read books like The Master Key by Charles James Harnell, The Law of Attraction by Esther Angeli Hicks, It's All in Your Head by Russ. I've read tons of books, Think and Grow Rich, and I've been reading these books for years. I started reading these books around 2017 when I was 17 years old. Now I'm 20, now I'm 24 years old, right? I'm not that old. That was like seven years ago. So I've been studying this for seven years and this stuff is amazing and it works, right? And now I'm channeling it into this YouTube channel to help more people understand that they can create their reality because I feel like this is my purpose. I feel like I've been put here to share and motivate people and teach them that they can do great things because if the world remains stagnant we're not going to go anywhere the world needs more business owners the more the world needs more innovators the world needs needs more creators the world needs more the world needs you actually the universe needs you so in this topic we're going to be talking about metaphysics as always which is what i'm passionate about metaphysics is simply the study of thoughts and emotions and its relation to the material world and what is the material world? This, things that we create in the physical reality. I want you to understand that everything is spiritual. Everything is mental. Nothing is actually physical. Everything that is around you started in somebody's mind. It's all a design. It's all imagination and visualization come to life. Think about it. I'm looking at things around my room. You can also look at things around your room, such as the computer in front of me, the light that is shining on my face, the camera that I'm using to record the video camera stand it's all problems that are designed to solve human problems right so it all started in the human mind and we are all created in god's image so that is what metaphysics is about the study of thought and emotion and its relation to the material world so i need you to understand that i keep repeating it in all my videos to help you understand that because if you binge watch my videos if you binge watch my videos you're gonna change your life i'm working hard here to wake you up so keep watching i appreciate you and i appreciate you all the love that i'm getting in the comments so if you're seeing this leave a comment in this video leave a thumbs up i really appreciate all the love so in this video particularly the topic under metaphysics we're going to be talking about is you can't lie to the universe like i said most people think that they can just manifest i'm just going to manifest i'm going to manifest I'm going to, oh, you guys talk about manifesting, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm going to manifest. I'm going to manifest a million dollars. I'll close my eyes and I believe. You think you're lying to me. You're not lying to me. You're lying to yourself and you can't lie to the universe. First of all, I can't see your thoughts and your emotions. Only you can feel what you feel and think what you think. But guess what? The universe literally responds to everything that you're feeling and thinking. That is why you get the results that you're getting so far. It's so simple. It's so simple. Because you don't believe, because you're always angry, because you always have a bad attitude, the universe gives you what it gives you. Shit. A shitty life with no results. I'm sorry I'm being mean, but I'm trying to I'm trying to just I'm just trying to give it to you raw. It's all your fault. <laughs> it's all it's all your fault. I'm sorry, but it's true. Because these, this is just the law of the universe. What you think is what you get. What you feel is what you get. The way you act is as a result of the way you think and the way you feel. And your actions are dictated by how you think and how you feel. And you think shit and feel shit. You're going to get shit. You're going to get shit. Okay? So today we're going to explore a cool idea. Everything that you think and feel can affect what happens around you. Even if you don't say it out loud. The universe is like a big listener. And it responds... So your hidden thoughts and feelings, not just your words. You can lie to me, but you can't lie to the universe. So be careful what, the, what you're thinking and feeling because you're creating your reality. Whether you know it or not, you're manifesting. 
And people think manifestation is all about good things. No, whether you know it or not, you're manifesting all the time. You're constantly manifesting all the time, all the time. As we speak, you're manifesting. This video popped up on your YouTube because you're manifesting. You want to learn more. You want to know more. You want to create your reality. So you're manifesting me to teach you. That's how it goes. Let's move on. What is manifestation? Simple explanation. I like to keep things simple, no big words, so that you get it. It's simple. Manifestation is the transformation of thought into physical reality. Like I said, somebody thought I need a simple way to put pen. I, I need a simple way to put words on paper. So they came up with a pen. At first, it was the dip thing where you dip it in and you write it with a feather, right? Then people started thinking of more innovative ways to make it this. It all starts in your head. Every single thing starts from thought. So manifestation is thinking about things into reality. I was I was 16 years old. I graduated high school in Lagos, Nigeria. And I was thinking to myself, wow, all the universities in Africa, they're shit. Trust me, you don't want to go to university in, Ni in Nigeria. It's all shit. And the teachers are still teaching about computer science on a blackboard. People don't have computers because electricity is bad and the government doesn't want to improve on certain things. Let's not get into that. I'm not a politician. I don't talk about politics. But what I'm trying to teach you is that I was desiring to study abroad. So my mind started thinking of ways for me to study in Canada. I lived in Canada for a long time and I graduated with the BSc in computer science all the way from Lagos, Nigeria. How? Because I manifested that. I believed it was possible for me and I did it. I was the first kid in my family. I was the last born and I was the fourth kid. I was the fourth kid out of four kids. So I was the last born. But I was the first kid in my family to study university abroad. Why? Because I learned this information. And who was the first person that even put this type of information in my front? It was XXX Tentacion. So RIP XXX Tentacion because his words changed my life. He recommended books that I tapped into and I found out a lot of things that I was already doing without me knowing. I was manifesting without knowing the knowledge. And when I tapped into the knowledge, it just made it like a no-brainer. Like, wow, this actually worked because I desired to study abroad. I said, yo, I, I'll be so miserable if I studied in Nigeria. And guess what? The universe was like, got you. You're going abroad. It was so funny because even circumstances that once I mentioned it to my mom, I told my mom, mom, I, I really like to study abroad in Canada. She was like, wow, you know, we've never done that. Nobody in our household has done that. I don't know how your father will feel about that. Boom, my mom goes to work the next day. She says a lady comes into her office and talks about how her son is studying in Canada too. You see, the universe starts to play those things for you because you, you ask for something, then those scenarios start to pop up in your reality. But if you don't even believe, you never say it out, so I believe I could study abroad. Then I took action by telling my mom. So the thing about it is that you have to think, feel, then also take the necessary action that your mind or the universal mind, which is your subconscious mind, suggests to you. My mind was like, why don't you talk to your mom about it? And I did that. Right? I did that. And it worked out. And the universe started presenting scenarios to her to make it possible for me. And boom, 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 boom. It was possible. It happened. Manifestation. Manifestation is turning your thoughts and your desires into physical reality. How it works. The universe is like a big listener. It doesn't just hear what you say. It feels what you're thinking and how you free, truly feel inside. So that's what I was saying. Like People think, oh, well, I want to manifest a million dollars. I want to win the lottery and I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to believe. But if you don't truly believe, you can lie to me and say, oh, I believe that. I tried it and it didn't work. You, you, you can lie to me about that, but deep down inside, you know you didn't believe it was possible. And even for me as a master manifester, there's some things I still don't, I still struggle with believing, right? There's things I still struggle with believing, but guess what? I'm able to, I'm able to master my thoughts and, and control my thoughts in a way where I know it's like, okay, even if I, I'm not at that point where I 100% believe this is possible, I'm, I'm not at the negative point still. I'm still in a, you know, I'm still in a positive vibration where I know I desire this thing, but I, I know I'm not fully there where I believe it's possible for me yet, but I'm going to act as if it's possible. I'm going to do the things I know is necessary for me to achieve this thing, right? So 
for you to start from the level you are, you're at, you have to be consistent. It's not going to be, you can't manifest, you can't manifest a million dollars the next day. You just got started. You have to manifest the small things, the little things, the little things, the little things. Then you start to see the proof of it. Then your faith is going to grow. Let's move on. Invisible thoughts and feelings, thoughts and emotions. Just like you can't see air, you can't see your thoughts or feelings, but they are still real and powerful. Sometimes I think about people and boom, they call me. Sometimes I think about this and boom, it happens. I think of like the craziest things, even little things, like when my soap is running out and I'm like, oh, oh, my soap is running out. I need some more soap. Boom, somehow soap just appears. I'm telling you, somebody will just buy me some soap. I'm telling you, like, no cap. And it happens to you too. You think about something bad and it happens. And you're like, yo, I was just thinking about that. But you don't realize that you're manifesting all the time. Whether you like it or not, you're manifesting all the time. You're manifesting all the time. But you think manifestation is just about good things. No, manifestation is all about bad things too. It's a balance. You can manifest bad situations and you can manifest good situations because it's a combination of your thoughts and your emotions. So if you're scared about something and you're thinking about it, pondering about it, you're scared about making money. You don't think you're going to ever make money. You don't think you're ever going to be rich. You're always thinking about that and you always feel sad about your situation. Guess what? You're manifesting that. So you need to be careful. I'm not trying to scare you, but I'm trying to teach you the power of your own mind. You have to gain control and master your own mind. That's the only way you're going to create a better life for yourself. The universe knows. You might hide your feelings from your friends or family, like me, but you can't hide them from the universe. It knows when you're happy, sad, scared, or excited, and it listens to those feelings. You can't hide it from the universe. You can hide it from me. You can hide it from everybody around you. Well, you can't hide it from the universe. It's that simple. The universe responds. So like I said, the moment I was able to introduce the idea of me studying abroad to my mom and myself as well, the desire dropped in my heart. I took action by telling my mom about it. Scenarios started to happen. My mom met a friend that told her her son was going to study abroad as well and was going to Canada. And they have this great agent and all these different scenarios and different things just started to work out because it was, it was present in that reality. Right. But if I never desired, if I never asked, if I never acted on what my desire was, those things will never happen. So the way it works is that when you ask for something or when you desire something, scenarios just start to pan out. Random occurrences just start to occur. Like where somebody just talks about what you were thinking about or the person you were thinking about just appears. You know, uh, like even with my digital marketing agency, there's, there are times where people just come and be like, oh, I was looking for, I was looking for your services. I was looking for somebody that would help me with Facebook ads. And they just talk to me randomly in the street, right? Because these things are not coincidences. They're not coincidences. They're, they're actually synchronicities. So it's, it's, it's all part of your vibration and it's all part of how you feel about things and how you think about them as well. So when you're thinking positively about the thing that you want, you attract people and scenarios where that happens in your favor. But when you're thinking negatively about the things that you want or don't want, you're thinking and focusing and concentrating on the things that you don't want. You're going to attract those negative scenarios to make that unfavorable, unfavorable thing happen as well. So I want to I want to hammer that in your head. You're manifesting all the time, whether you like it or not. You're manifesting all the time. You're manifesting all the time. You're manifesting all the time. Or you're manifesting all the time. Positive or negative. Manifestation is not just a positive thing. It's not just a magic trick where it's like it's not a wishing one. It's a wishing one, but uh it's a double edged sword, right? It's a double edged sword. Like a magnet. If you're often happy and positive, you'll find more things that make you feel good come into your life. If you're sad or negative, you might notice more things that make you feel bad. Simple and short. Examples of how it works. 
good thoughts, good things. Imagine someone who has always been thinking and making new friends and is nice to others. The universe helps by bringing them more friends. There's this thing that is trending now called aura, right? Called aura. You, you look at Cristina, Cristiano Ronaldo and you say, oh, Ronaldo has so much aura or Messi has so much aura. But what you don't see is the, the hundreds and thousands of sessions they spent training and working on their body because they desire to become that person that has the aura. Ronaldo spent years, like Ronaldo started in a Portuguese team called Sporting Lisbon and ended up in England in Manchester United. But do you know how much work and effort it took for him to put in to become that great player that ended up there? People don't see that. They just see the final result. Just like my YouTube channel, for instance, like people are going to see me now and know me now. But years later, when it's like a bigger thing, People will just think I, I just ended up with 1 million followers. People will just think like, oh, you just started with 1 million followers and you have aura and you have all this thing. But they won't see all the videos I started with, all the different concept I tried, all the different nights where I didn't even know what I was doing, the years where I didn't believe in myself and I didn't post videos consistently. They wouldn't see all those things. They wouldn't see all the videos I watched and I used to learn about how to make content the right way. People wouldn't see all those things. They just see the final results. Right. So what you're thinking is what you're creating. So if I don't believe in myself, I wouldn't get on camera and I wouldn't do these things. If I don't believe I have something to give, I wouldn't say anything. I'll just shut up and be on my phone scrolling all day. It's pretty simple. Worry thoughts and create tricky situations. Now think about someone who worries a lot about failing a test. That worry might make it harder for them to study and do well. Or think about somebody that worries a lot and thinks that they're not good enough to have any friends. Oh, I know too much, so I can't have any friends. That is a belief, not a fact. So you're worrying about things that are imaginary, right? You think people don't like, oh, people don't like me. How? <laughs> One of my mentors, Bashar, says, how egotistic of you to think that People don't like me. <laughs> like, you know, you, you must really think you're so special that everybody doesn't like you. That's not even possible. It's just because you don't put yourself out there. You don't think positively. You don't think that you think the way you think. So you get what you get. It's simple. How can you say you don't have any friends? Have you gone anywhere? Have you said hello to anybody in the streets? Have you tried to do your hobbies with other people? No, you haven't put yourself out there. So how do you expect to have friends? When you believe you're not worthy of friends, when you believe you're not good enough to have any friends, when you believe and you judge other people, how can you have friends when you think that way? So your thoughts are naturally creating that situation in your reality. It's so simple. Making sure your thoughts and your feelings are good. Check in with yourself. It's like being a detective with your own thoughts. Ask yourself how you're feeling and if your thoughts are happy or sad. In the book, Law of Attraction by Esther and Jerry Hicks, it teaches you that you should always check whether your vibration is going upstream or downstream. And what is a stream? A stream is like a river that's flowing in a certain direction, right? You're going, you're always flowing in a certain direction and you're like a, you're like a boat on the stream. So think about a boat on a river that is like with a flowing stream. If you're going up the stream, when you paddle, it's more difficult. It's harder to paddle upstream than to just go with the flow and go with the stream of your natural vibration because your natural vibration is the one of it's a good vibration your natural vibration where you let go you're not thinking about things too much you're not pondering about situations you're not pondering about other people you're not wondering if people are you're just flowing and going in the natural stream you're going downstream it feels easy Positivity feels easy. Love feels easy. Joy feels easy. Happiness feels easy. But anger feels tight. Frustration feels tight. Hatred feels tight. Even in your body. Right? So the way that they teach you to change your vibration from a place of negativity to positivity is by paying attention to your thoughts. You have to pay attention to what you're thinking. And every time you catch yourself thinking something that is negative... You have to be able to flip that to something that is slightly less negative to 
slightly less negative again to positive. So you have to take your thoughts. For example, you think in your head, nobody likes me. I have no friends. Oh, but that nice lady in the street said hi to me that day. Oh, but my mom likes me. Oh, but my cousins like me. Oh, my cousins can be my friend. Oh, my neighbor likes me. They can be my friend. So you see, you took it from a place where you believe that nobody likes me and I'm not good enough to, oh, you start to see the, you start to see the deceit in your own thoughts. Your own thoughts are lying to you and teaching you that you're something you're not. When there's evidence that you're actually not that, but in that moment, you just don't feel good. So it's going to, it's going to show you evidence that to, to match your feelings. Your thoughts are going to produce evidence to match your feelings, but you have to carefully, you have to carefully cut those off, chop them down and break them down into slightly less negative, slightly less negative, all the way down to positive. So simple. Changing your thoughts. If you find sad or bad thoughts, try to change them into happy ones. Think about things you like or things you're looking forward to. Like I said, you have a negative thought. Oh, I'm fat. <laughs> I'm very fat and I don't feel attractive. Oh, but but I can work on that. Oh, I, I, I saw this gym down the road that is having free training sessions. Oh, I had this boyfriend one time and he didn't care if I was fat. You know, you're able there there's evidence that the things that you're thinking are not that bad. And you're actually getting in your own way. But you have to give yourself the grace to catch that thought and break it down. And break it down. Even even using other people's experiences, like you can be like, oh, I'm fat and I'm never gonna get a girlfriend, right? Have you not ever seen a guy that's fat with a girlfriend? You have. So it's false. That's the paradoxical nature of life. Most of the negative, most of the negative things you think are most likely false. And there's evidence of that being false as well. You think you're fat and you won't get a girlfriend? There are many fat guys with girlfriends. Simple. Conclusion. We learned that the universe can feel our hidden thoughts and feelings and respond to them. So it's important to try to think positively and feel good inside. Like I said, nobody can see your thoughts. Nobody can feel your emotions but you. So why are you, why are you a terrorist to yourself? <laughs> that just came in my head. Why are you being a terrorist in your own body? Why are you being a terrorist in your own body? In your own body, you're thinking that you're not good enough. You're thinking bad things about yourself. You feel like shit. You're also cursing yourself and you're making yourself feel bad but it's only you that can hear what you're thinking and feel what you're feeling only you so why are you doing that to yourself like why are you doing that to yourself give yourself more compassion because it's only you that can hear what you're thinking and feel what you're feeling it's all you it's your universe remember what you think you become what you feel you attract what you imagine you create That's so simple. I don't think I even need to break that down further. What you think you become, what you feel you attract, and what you imagine you create. And remember, what you think and you feel you act on. So if you feel that you can't get that job and you think you're not good enough for that job, you're not going to apply for it. Simple. If you think that you're good for the job, if you think you feel good for the job, then you're going to apply for it. If you think you're good enough to start a business, if you feel like you're good enough to start a business, then you would start a business. So your thoughts and your emotions dictate your actions. So if you're thinking shitty thoughts and shitty and have shitty emotions, your actions are going to be full of shit. Peace. <laughs>